Governor Joey Kidney wants to inspire others to find happiness in their lives. His online channel focuses on mental health, self-love, and his daily battle with anxiety. In one video with over 3 million views, Joey recorded his anxiety attacks for a week. Here's a short clip. So this is me going for a walk right now um, because I'm having an anxiety attack. And lately I've been having them a lot and then everything just builds up and I don't know how to handle it. And like my, my mind is just like spinning, like overthinking, like, in a, like, in a, like a crazy amount. Now and I can't stop. YouTuber Joey Kidney with me right now. I like that you put videos like that on YouTube because I think a lot of people use the word anxiety mm -hmm. and, and some of us don't really know what that means, what that feels like. And those clips were of you going through the process of having anxiety. Can you walk us through how that feels? Real. <laughs> it's a very real moment. That's the only thing that it is, is because I'm not trying to get that certain view. When I put that video up, I didn't know what was coming after. I yeah. didn't know anything. I put that video up for me and to possibly help others and whoever's going to come upon it. That video was posted two years ago yeah. and people are still watching it and it's still helping people. So I think it's, I don't know, it's therapeutic for me and it's yeah. real. Because I don't know, you find influencers using that anxiety and depression and anything relatable to mental health, they use that as just being relatable. Just yeah. to see numbers beside their name, and that's not why I do it at all. It's really troubling, actually, that yeah. we're getting to a point where people would sort of lightly use these issues and struggles that people are actually dealing with yeah. just to get a like or a subscriber or a retweet um, when there's, these are serious struggles people are going through. So yeah. when you are experiencing anxiety and how long have you been experiencing it for? Um, I didn't know what it was yeah. until I was around 16. Do you, just, so. do you just feel off? Do you feel scared? How do you feel? Um, there's very many emotions and there's many triggers. Yeah. Uh, there could be, you feel like you gotta throw up. There could yeah. be like, randomly you end up with a bleeding, bloody nose. Sometimes you just can't speak and your throat closes. That was my mm. first time I experienced it. I was um, doing a religion presentation and I'm great at speaking. Yeah. And I just got up and I was like, <clears throat> <Can't>. nope, <laughs> nothing came out. And I didn't get it and I told my teacher and then that's what kind of started everything is like talking about it really, really helps. And your family, they supported you, said, let's get you help, let's figure out what this is, let's get yeah. a diagnosis. Yeah, well, it all started because I was playing hockey and I got a lot of concussions. Mm -hmm. So that was like the main focus. And then all the mental health issues started coming about. And then they were like, okay, well, we need to focus on this more. Okay, yeah. interesting. So YouTube. YouTube. Using YouTube as a sort of a platform to get your journey of anxiety out there, has that been positive for you? I, it's been positive and it's, I, I wouldn't put a negative beside it. I think talking about mental health is an amazing thing. Yeah. Um, and that's why I, th I don't, you know, shade influencers who are bringing it up. I just want them to talk about it more, more about like their experiences. And yeah. so when I do that, it's very positive. I get the most positive feedback ever, but <laughs> it's not always what I want to hear. I don't want to hear that everyone's struggling, but knowing that I'm helping them, it, that's the positive part of it all. Do you worry sometimes about the content you put on there? Yeah. Like how vulnerable you are? <laughs> yeah. What's the most vulnerable thing you've posted on YouTube? Probably that video. With you just, you just like yeah. not feeling good. I, yeah, that, that, that video right there. And then you can't see a lot when anxiety is happening. A lot of people, right. it's, not, it's not a broken arm. You can't see it. You can, it's not like that. Sometimes it's just your heart's going crazy and you just can't control yourself. And so filming those videos, taking out my iPhone and just putting it down, yeah. really, really helped me just breathe a little bit. And then that right there, the reason why I was so hard to post is because I didn't know what the video was going to be when I was filming it because mm -hmm. I was just recording that. Right. And then after I was like, okay, I think we have something. So it wasn't scripted or anything. So that was it. Now, aside from people sort of going through what you go through because they get to watch you go through it, do you have advice for people going through anxiety, especially young people? Because you're, you're 23. Yeah. Do, what would you say to a young person who feels off? They feel like they're going through it. They don't know what to do. 
I think the biggest thing, and this is obviously everything I say is personal yeah. and from my own experience and my own opinions, but the biggest thing with me is that I was on every medication and not saying it doesn't work for people, but for me, I just didn't, I wasn't myself. And so I stopped trying to stop anxiety and started to try to understand it mm. because I feel like, yeah, we're talking about it, but we're not taking the time to actually figure out what's going on in our own heads. We know so mm. much about our planet and everything, but we don't know anything about our own bodies. Right. And let know, like our brain is magical thing and like why is it doing what it's doing why are we thinking the way we're thinking so i think taking that time to sit down and actually try to understand what's going on going on in your mind yeah that's the most important thing you've said before that people it's not it's the videos that are online the people watching them that are just sort of sometimes just spewing hate yeah why why do you think we have a generation of people that want to hate watch like what is that about where does that come from I think it's the feeling of watching it and knowing it's not about you mm. and feeling like you're better than the situation and better than that person and you know it's it's pure pressure it's very easy yeah. and it's a it could, pure pressure isn't always getting your friends to drink at a party yeah. you can also just click be clicking on a video and supporting that video and you know then why would a creator stop making those videos if beside that video they're seeing a number of views and then beside that number of views they're seeing thousands of dollars in their paycheck. Right. Why would they stop? So, so it's being I, encouraged. Exactly. So instead of, you know, hating on the people who are creating the videos, let's just stop watching them in the first place. Yeah. Use your power, which is your eyeballs. Exactly. Right? And, you're, and subscribing. So you actually have, uh, you wrote a book, What's the Rush? And I want I wanted to get into sort of what you might find in this book. These are, yeah. your, these are your musings. This is what's happening in your brain, a stream of consciousness. Where did the idea come from for this? Um, it wasn't for a book at all. I just okay. started writing down any time that I was feeling like uh, something was going wrong or something happened in my life or mm -hmm. really, so it's every experience. Every experience from uh, a happy time, a success story, or a, a death in the family, a, a suicide, any anxiety attack I've ever had, a yeah. heartbreak, love story, whatever it is, um, I started writing it down. So on January 6, 2016, I started writing it. Okay. And so I wrote a few installments. I call them installments because <laughs> they're not long enough to be chapters. And, yeah. you know, then there's a poem every now and then. Oh, that's and nice. So I started doing that and I started writing a few and then I came, I left it and I came back to it about like a year later. Mm -hmm. And I read the first installment and I needed it. And I wowed myself. And that's kind of how I wrote the whole book is I would write it and then I would take a break and then I would see, I would forget what I wrote really. Right. Uh, it didn't take too long. But then I would read it back and if I wowed myself and it helped myself, yeah. then I knew that's what needed to be in there. So over the course Excellent. of three years, I wrote down every single experience. And it's not like, oh, hi, I'm Joey. This was what I went through. It's more in the general aspect so everybody can relate to it. Yeah. And it's written in poems, installments. There's pictures in it. I got an artist to come in and draw how I speak and because I write oh, nice. how I speak and everything like that. Yeah. So it's not, it's not the, the most like picture perfect book because it, our lives aren't like that. That's right. It's exactly this is you. This is yeah. you in a book, right?